Today is going to be part two of our video series covering universe mode, everything you need to do in it, some helpful tips and tricks, all that good stuff. Today, we are going to go through a little bit of rivalries, going a little more in depth, deletion utility and why that might be an issue for you. Let's get started. You guys can see that we have where we left off. We have our raw set up smackdown is set up we went ahead and set up our rivalries from our low mediums and highs and we have it on smackdown too now what i want to do first is pay attention to my low medium high rivalries here on raw so bianca and bailey live in candace and then we're going to pay attention to roman and cody to see the differences when it comes to their matches and what cutscenes we get if any so starting off on raw cody's got a match Everyone should be in their matches, and we will talk a little bit about tag teams too and what we need to do uh, to make it all work. So let's start the show. Now, you could leave entrances on. You could toggle them off here. If you leave them on, there is a chance that you're going to get an entrance cutscene thrown in there. So we're going to leave it on just to see what we can get. And we'll skip ahead to see if we get a cutscene here involving Cody and maybe Roman Reigns. So for this one, I made the match go a little bit longer and I ended up, I was playing as Cody. I wanted to see what would happen if well, Cody lost this thing against Randy Orton. And since we're getting regular Randy Orton post-match, doesn't look like we're getting any cutscene, which is interesting because this is a high rivalry between Cody and Roman. Okay, let's try the next match, Liv versus Candice. This is supposed to be a medium rivalry. This one we'll try with entrances off and see what happens. Okay, so we had Candice LeRae win this match. Let's check it out. That's Liv Morgan's not happy with this. You have a great match, now you want to be a sore loser. Cool, so we got a decent little cutscene to start off their rivalry. So I'm going to skip ahead only because I want to see the Bianca and Bailey match because I set that as a low rivalry to see if we get anything else different for this one. Ah, see, we're starting things off with a cutscene. Moments away, gentlemen, from these two heated rivals going one on one. It's about to boil over. I can't wait. Here we go. Emotions running high. The bell has rung. Okay, interesting. So I haven't seen that cutscene before, to be honest. Maybe you have, and there's nothing new. But this is a low-level rivalry that we're going to start off uh, trying to see if we can create something here between these two. And what we did with Bailey and Bianca was we set it to low for their intensity, but we made it long-term. So it's going to run us for three months for these two. Okay, so we ended the match. We got Bianca to win. Let's see if we get anything here. Here is your winner, Bianca So we're just gonna get the standard Bianca victory motion for this one. Okay, we're gonna flip over to SmackDown next, go to the next show and see if we can trigger anything else for cutscenes. And for SmackDown, we have the Usos and New Day. That's on low. We have Charlotte and Becky. Bobby Lashley, LA Knight is high. And Montez Ford and Braun Strowman is set for high. So we will see if we can take a look at this tag match tonight. So the tag, yeah, the tag team match will happen. So let's start the show. I will walk through too about like getting rid of Alexander Wolf there for Imperium just to update it for you guys. Uh, we'll take a little quick look at tag teams too. Okay, we got Charlotte and Raquel. This one, let's play this match because we're going to see if we're going to get a cutscene between her and Becky. I've had people ask me too if they're like, do you play or do you simulate matches? For me, I try to kind of do a little bit of both. I, if there are rivalries that I set up that I enjoy or I'm trying to tell a specific story, I'm going to get in there. I'm going to play the whole thing or as much as I can. A lot of the time I'm playing through the matches, but I'm mostly playing and paying attention to the pay-per-view we got no interference for charlotte here raquel's gonna come out and you might be looking too and saying hey that's a different smackdown yeah that's a custom smackdown arena that i downloaded and i i got it to work with no corruption i paid close attention to the comments too from the previous video if you've already checked it out just to see what people were dealing with one of the things is data corruption 
uh, the thing just crashing on you for universe, not being able to load a lot of these matches. Oh, hey, cutscene. What are you doing out here? Why did you come get out of here? So I've seen this cutscene a bunch of times. For this one to work, what we want to do is we're going to beat down Raquel a little bit. Ah, she reversed it, but we're going to try and knock her down a bit. And then if we can either get her just Irish whipped into the corner near Becky, that might trigger the additional cutscene that you can get with this. Or we just go out to the outside near Becky Lynch and that should also trigger uh, some sort of cutscene with her. Oh, here we go. Ooh, they ran interference and all messed up. See, that's a good cutscene. I don't know if you guys have seen that. I haven't seen that one before. That wasn't the one I was thinking of. I've seen them where they go uh, ringside and they sit down, but that's not the same thing. Okay, so now the match resumes. So that was cool. I like that little bit of interference there. Okay, so we got nothing. We got nothing post-match. That's okay. So the last one we'll look at is going to be the Usos and the New Day in their tag match where they have a rivalry going on. And let's see if we're going to get any tag team rivalries. I know in the comments too for tag teams, specifically just even tag team creations, I know a lot of people are like, oh, tag team finishers don't work. They do not. I've gone in and I've tried to play with it a bunch of times to see if I could tweak it or get around it. And it really doesn't work. There is no way to do it. The Usos have their tag finishers working in the game. I can't remember if the New Day do or not. I'm pretty sure they did have it, but you really can't mess around with many of the teams uh, to get any other stuff to work. It's really disappointing. Something that should have been fixed kind of day one with this. For the amount of time people play universe mode, it's really a shame. Well, they were asking in the comments too. One question came up about... If you don't add somebody to a division, championship division, what happens to them? In my experience, they're not really featured at all in the game. They end up just, just not, not really around at all. So if I don't put Dominic Mysterio in a division, in like the IC title division, then he doesn't really get booked on the show. Which is a real bummer because you don't always want it to be for a title. You want things to be just kind of happening. I know you can set up rivalries, but I don't want a certain star to rise the ranks to be challenging if stuff is simulated. You know what I mean? You, you want almost a little bit more control in there. I know we can set up the individual rivalries, four stars, and put them in that. But, yeah, I may not just want to necessarily have to put them into a certain division. But, yes, unfortunately, you do if you want to get them featured on your show. That's why, for me, I typically try to keep my rosters kind of light. I don't want to overbook it uh, because I don't want to have 50, 70 stars on my roster for SmackDown because then I'll never get around to seeing everybody. What the heck is he doing? Oh my God, dropkick. So yeah, typically try to keep the rosters light. Um, for some people, they see a lot of crashing when it comes to creations. They have a lot of custom stars in their roster and that is messing you up a lot. I do a lot of alt attires. Like I'll have a lot of alt attires set as the standard attire for stars. So when I'm not playing like a fresh universe like this for testing it, uh, like the Usos, I'll give them new attires. And I haven't seen the amount of crashing that other people do. Um, that could be me. I'm playing this right now on my Series S. Okay, let's see. We got the New Day to win this match. Let's see if we can get a cutscene here for their tag team rivalry. Kofi's all bloodied up. Oh, we're gonna get some. Okay, 
Oh, and his partner is walking out. Woods is walking out on him. Deception within the New Day. Not happy with it. So again, that's a low rivalry that's going to be running for a long time with the Usos. So it takes time. The main point of showing you this is that if you're like, oh, I'm not getting cutscenes, you could see that I just showed off from tag team to low to high. There's a number of different cutscenes that you are going to get. So let's fast forward here to Backlash just to see if we can get anything else with like a high rivalry. Roman and Cody are at very high and Seth and AJ are at very high. This has now gone to a medium rivalry and this is now shot up to a very high when we started it off as medium. Uh, the Usos, that was low what we just looked at just a second ago. It's now it's shot up to high. So this is just with one month. You can see where the rivalries will kind of progress. And you can go in obviously when you click in on the matches. So if you go over to very high, on this one, we can see week over week, we had issues here. Roman Reigns came down ringside to get a front row seat. That didn't happen. That cutscene didn't occur. So week one, let's see here. Jimmy and Jay's unity is at an all-time low as they continue to argue with each other over their matches. Things look grim for this team. They can't get their issues sorted out before their big match against the Woods. So this one too, like we just went through the tag team match and the New Day were the ones that had the issues. So it's still not getting it accurate because the New Day were the ones that were having the problems. So custom pay-per-view, we're doing Backlash. We will simulate and randomize this. Becky Lynch is your new SmackDown Women's Champion. All right, let's do Cody versus Roman for the championship. All right, here comes Roman Reigns. So Roman's not coming out with Paul Heyman uh, for this one. So we'll take a look and see if we can tweak this to get it to work. The Roman has retained, but we're not getting any crazy cutscene out of this. Just the standard Roman one. And that's typically how it goes when it's going to be for pay-per-views. They don't, at least I don't recall seeing any different cutscenes when it comes uh, to the pay-per-view nights. What we'll do is if we do a part three, and if you enjoy it so far, what we'll do in a part three video is uh, go through like, altering the settings and putting on like Undertaker's Road to WrestleMania, messing around with Royal Rumble as we get close to WrestleMania and to see what kind of pops up from that. Okay, another thing that we wanted to look at today was we were going to go into our tag teams and we're going to take a look here at, obviously we have very few in the way of tag teams, brother. Uh, and we'll look at individual superstars, Roman Reigns, with managers, things like that. How do we fix this? Uh, and tag team finishers being an issue too. So, one of the first things here, I still had Alexander Wolf showing up with Imperium. If you watched a little bit earlier, that's what happened, brother. He was showing up, but I don't have him as the fourth guy. Everything is normal. We don't have the fourth member. So, the issue is with the relationship. So, you have to go into the individual superstar now. We'll go down to Walter Gunther, and you can see he does have his managers set up with all of Imperium. So what we need to do here, here we are, is you need to change this out. So get rid of Wolf, if that's what you want. And we go down to main managers. So we'll change the main manager and we will swap these guys out. Boom. And we will remove Wolf. Pain in the butt, yes, because you're going through all of this. And there. So now we have our allies and our main manager. It's the main manager that screws it up with something like Imperium with superstars still showing up there. We're going to save all our settings and save this to the roster for play. And that's that. Now, the other thing, let's go back into our teams for a second here. If we went down to, for example, the Usos, so I'm not going to modify or change anything at the moment, so our rivalry will still be okay. The tag team finisher is the Uso splash, and it does work in the game. If we look at something like the Street Profits, the tag team finisher is the Spine Buster Frog Splash combo, and I don't know if it actually works in the game. For New Day, I think this was the weird one. It has Midnight Hour, but I think I was trying to go in here and I was trying to change it before, and it just messes up. It really does not work. Now, it is a pain in the butt because if you're like, I want to add new tag teams, or why can't I import my uh, exhibition play tag teams? Yeah, they don't show up. You do have to go into Universe 
and create those tag teams. If you want Hurt Business in there, you've got to create it. Whatever it is, if you want to create Judgment Day, you can't import it from your regular play and bring it over into Universe. Just doesn't work, and it's a super big pain in the butt. So you may have a couple of Universes going on, in your games. So what you want to do is you want to click on your main one that's used as your main save. We're going to hit copy and then we're just going to paste it over here. Now you can see that, okay, they're going to run the exact same weeks, right? They're running the exact same shows from your last save. You just copied the save over. If we go in and we play this copied over save. What I think you should do. So now you're back at backlash where we just were. What I suggest that you do is that if you wanna make this as like a new universe, but with the copied over everything, what I think you should do is simulate all the way to WrestleMania. Because then you can start off, finish up WrestleMania, simulate it, and then you will start off, you know, week one, but everything is the way you want from mostly looking at, you know, the tag teams that you've set up, the shows that you have set up, everything is designed the way that you want it to be. And you're not sitting there having to go through one by one and recreate everything all the time. So hopefully that will help you out a little bit. You can see now we're all the way at WrestleMania. What the heck is going on at WrestleMania tonight? Well, that'd be a fun match. But yeah, you can see we have a ton of stuff going on. Fatal 4-Way Tag Team Match, brother. All right. Steel Cages, barely any titles at WrestleMania. And the women are headlining. I love it. So we'll simulate all our matches. Boom. We're right back to Monday Night Raw. But we have things saved and set up the way we want. And then back out. And then now you're done. And you haven't had to spend hours having to fiddle through your shows and doing it. All of this. And that also gives you the opportunity too. If you're like, hey, I do want to add an extra show in here. I want to add a Saturday night show. I want to add NXT. It's way less time consuming now for you. Uh, one thing to mention too. Uh, within options in universe mode injuries this has come up in the comments uh, I, i've seen this floating around a little bit people have asked how do i get somebody injured it's difficult i believe the way maybe you know better than i do but i believe the way is that you have to have an star get injured like beat them down horribly for i think three weeks and that will then trigger an injury for that star I don't think I've ever seen an injury because you have to deliberately get them super, super injured for it to happen. So create a rivalry and then play the matches and you see that after the third week, you got to beat them down until they're like deep red every single match. And then you possibly will trigger a injury angle. The other thing we were going to look at was with Roman Reigns. We had him in a match before, but you can see by default, Roman didn't have Paul Heyman, which is that's just fun, isn't it? So a couple of things we're going to do here. I'm going to change out Roman's attire uh, and I'll give him something new. And I'm going to make sure that oh he's getting he's getting mixed, but he's also getting cheered now, brother. We're going to make sure that he's got his allies are set up and his main manager is not going to be the Usos. We are going to make new manager and go over to your manager's tab and add the manager you want and we'll add it in as Paul Heyman and now Paul Heyman is going to be his main manager and this will fix your issue of them not showing up it's a lot of tedious stuff that's why with universe mode you can make it a lot of fun but you do have to go in and tweak every single thing out of the default uh, to get it the way you want to get it but now it will be fixed and he will come out with Paul Heyman which is great I purge a lot of my custom creations as well because I do this every day and if you watch the show uh, I'll show off new creations a lot so I will I will download and play these characters and then I will post them and do the videos and then I I often go in and have to delete a ton of stuff we're not just redownload I'm I'm here all day I'm just always updating stuff so if you're wondering hey does the game crash for you um, I got so many downloads, so many creations, and this thing freezes. Um, we've been doing this and nothing has happened. But what I will show you is just going into deletion utility because the big problem people have is that it's the game crashes too much for them and they hate it and they throw controllers. So we head over here into options 
and you can go to extras for deletion utility. Here's another little tip, just in general outside of universe mode though. If you wanted to go into edit your creations or edit a created superstar, or better yet, you wanted to just check on how many stars do I have downloaded? Like I can't remember who's all these custom ones are. You could go into edit superstar and go through the list of everybody. But when you go that direction, the game is a little slow trying to load everything, I find. What I do to just check on, because I'm always downloading a ton of different stuff from arenas and characters and everything, I go into extras and then I go to deletion utility. And I instantly can see my list of creations from Becky and all of these ones. Now, if you are wondering, hey, why is Cody... I want to delete Cody for some reason. You can't because you have put them in universe mode. Kane is not in any of my universe mode saves. So what you would have to do is you either have to just remove them from universe mode or delete your save. Uh, chances are you're going to remove that star from universe mode. And again, it's a tedious thing, but it's because this, the game itself is set up. So like if Cody's in a rivalry, he's being used, it would mess it up and the game can't handle that. So if you are like, why are these ones ever grayed out for me? It's because they are being used in your universe mode. Remove them from universe mode. You're good to go. But this is an easy way if you were like, I need to get rid of somebody. Uh, I'm going to delete. Uh, we'll just get rid of Becky Lynch for her latest return. And then I'll go through any of these things and delete whatever I need to delete. So if we wanted to delete any of these, like I'm going to delete SummerSlam 2022 because I don't need that anymore. Go through if you have anything sitting in here. Make sure you delete it the way I end up deleting stuff just to make sure that the system doesn't crash even in it, because if you're doing big batch deletions, it can have a tendency to go really slow or it could even crash if it's taking way, way too long. So I've only highlighted like two things here. I'm just going to hit accept. We're going to hit yes. And you want to make sure you do this where it says delete both selected images. And you can see how the sizing on this is even weird. They got to fix that. But yeah, I want to delete the images associated with it for that star for that arena. So it's not taking up room. Then I will go over into group images or excuse me, custom images, group images. There's nothing, but I'll go to my custom images and I hit Y or triangle on PlayStation. And do you want to delete 101 images? Yes, I'm deleting anything that is not being used. Anything that's just old images that are just sitting there from deleted arenas, shows, superstars. It could be tattoos, attires, pieces, whatever it is that the system is just sitting in there with. I do that regularly to purge it, to make sure that we don't have an influx of too much crap in the system. And I don't get crashes hardly ever. The only time I've had crashes is going into community creations and it's just the servers are being weird and stuff just tends to crash. So if you're finding that for universe mode, you're crashing a lot. I really recommend you go into deletion utility and have a look and try to get rid of some stuff. If you're going to say to me, Matt, I do all of that and it still crashes and it just sucks. I go, I don't know. I am not. I do not create the game. I just play the game. And if you do this regularly and I just hit Y or triangle, you're not deleting like 500 images. That would take a long time. This blue bar would take a long, long time, brother. This way it goes up a little bit faster. And that's how I generally stay on top of it. And I don't end up with a bunch of crazy bugs when it comes to my universe mode. You hit accept and you're out and you're good. I hope this helped you out a little bit. And if you want to, there's going to be part three for you to check out. You can already check out part one, actually. It's right over here somewhere. So check out part one and stay tuned for part three on the channel. Bye.